The new ESC guidelines on atrial fibrillation carry a large number of important messages for practice. They were presented in Stockholm by the chair of their task force, John Cam. We have introduced a scoring system for symptoms in atrial fibrillation, which is called the ERA score. Two other new scores are introduced in these guidelines. The CHADS VASC score, to measure individual vulnerability to thromboembolic events, and the HAS BLED score, to evaluate individual bleeding risk. These new guidelines have important ramifications for patients. The first, I think, is that there will be a more sustained and more definitive attempt to define those patients who do not need anticoagulants and to prescribe anticoagulants to those patients who do need anticoagulation therapy. Second, we would like to de-emphasize strict rate control. It does not seem to be important since lenient rate control is very acceptable in most patients. And thirdly, we are introducing a new antiarrhythmic drug therapy which is less toxic than other therapies and offers some advantages. Finally, I think we've emphasized more the role of left atrial ablation to prevent recurrences of the arrhythmia.